Greetings, Lieutenant, and welcome to the breach. Captain, I need to speak with you in my quarters. I think it's time for that explanation I owe you. Very well, Daniels. I'll be there shortly. There's more to this mission than you realize, Captain. Uh-huh. Please explain. Something's not right. I'll explain shortly. Well, here we are at the Mabel system. Let's find out what's going on. All right. I appreciate your patience. I'm what's known as a temporal agent. It's my job to preserve the timeline. You helped me stop one temporal incursion at K-13. There's been another at Babel, and I can use your help with it. Welcome to the Temporal Ready Room. I use it to monitor the timeline. The Nakul have sent agents to a critical point in time. We believe they disrupted the Babel Conference in 2268 for the USS Enterprise. I want to send you back there to stop them. You'll be sent back to a point shortly before the conference begins. I'm sending one of our best temporal agents along. I believe you've met. Nice to see you again. It's been some time. For me, at least. For you, I see hardly any time has passed at all. It must be strange to see me looking... Uh, older. Once you're on Enterprise, deal with the Nakul and make sure the conference proceeds as planned. You'll have a temporal transponder which will allow me to communicate with you and bring you back. You'll also have these bio-scanners. They're short-range, but will detect the Nakul agents nicely. Do the job right, and no one will know we are there. Sounds like a plan. The situation at Babel shouldn't be happening. Something in the past has changed, and not for the better. We'll make this right. Let's begin by using Enterprise's sensors to look for signs of our time-traveling friends. The computer won't have any details on the Nakul, so you'll need to recalibrate the sensors manually on the bridge. I'll take care of it. Oh, and one more item to be aware of. Ensign Pavel Chekhov is currently on duty on the bridge, which is why I will be remaining here out of sight. As much as I would like to visit the bridge again, Two of me in the same place would raise questions neither of us wants to answer. Understood. I'll leave my offices here with you, too, just in case. Let's get to work. I will check with you again after you are done on the bridge. I haven't worn this uniform for some time. It's a little... snug. Oh, I know that feeling. Work. I'm getting some readings from Deck 11, but I can't pinpoint them. Some sort of interference. We'll need to get close and scan by hand. Start at the mess hall. There are a lot of people coming and going there. Hey, check off. I'm heading to Deck 11 now.
Duncan, I would speak to you. It does seem unavoidable. How do you vote on the Corridon in mission? Senses are showing that one of the delegates is leaving the lounge. Follow him. He might be trying to slip out before you can get a scan. I'm on it, he won't get far. There's not much surreptitiousness about the scans. Concerned. It was my understanding that the transporter filters out biohazards. Of course. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be on my way. Have a pleasant evening, Ambassador. They're on the move, though I'm still getting a lot of false readings on the sensors. Let's keep checking the deck. Like the old Russian saying goes, two heads are better than one. Right, let's head back to the junction and collect some readings. Being here takes me back. It was quite a different time for start. Head back toward the reception. Ambassador Gav. Run down, unlikely more to go. There's no Captain's wound is serious. He'll bleed out if we don't help him. Good. It looks like the captain is stabilized. We need to move. I detected a cool technology in engineering. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Scotty. We've been sent back in time to keep the Enterprise from being destroyed. Aliens are trying to alter the future of the Federation. There's no time to explain. You have to trust us, old friend. We're here to help. All right, lad. You can start by helping me keep this ship from blowing to pieces and get rid of that bloody bomb, if you can. Just tell us what you need, Scotty. To the 
number six shield. Not that one. They've got power to the number four shield. Good work. Now check on that bomb. Auxiliary power to shields. Good work. Now check on that bomb. Prepare teams to deck five. Good work. Now check on that bomb. The cop was ordering me to cut the power? Uh, I see what he's about. That got him. We can't disarm this bomb. But we need to get to that Orion ship anyway. We can take it with us. Why not just beam it into space? We can't let that ship be captured. It has dangerous technology on it. Scotty, I need you to trust me. That ship needs to be destroyed. You can't tell anyone what happened here. It could damage the timeline irreparably. Besides, I'm captain now, so I technically outrank you. All right, lad. I'll take you at your word. Once you're ready, I'll send you and that bomb over. Good luck to you. Energizing. Thanks, Scotty. Now, what's this? The Orions will lock down their ship. We need to override their security systems. I'm going to try to attach the bomb to the Orion ship's engine controls. I'll need you to cover me. See if you can hold them at the doorway so they can't shoot me in the back. Okay, check off. I'll cover you. The 
bomb is in place. Not much time left. We need to get out of here before we go down with the ship. Team speed up, Daniels. Yeah, the whole team knows about the uh, ready room. That was close. I'm glad I got you out of there in time. You're both valuable agents. Of course, no one will know what you've done today, with the exception of Commander Scott. That being said, this won't be the strangest thing he'll see in his career. Not by a long shot. It might make our next meeting a little awkward. Indeed. It comes with the job, I'm afraid. In the meantime, I can send you and Captain Chekhov back to your respective timelines when you're ready. Thanks, Daniels. That was quite an adventure. I think you have the makings of a fine temporal agent, my friend. As good as it was to see Enterprise again, I have other duties to attend to. We're preparing for a very serious event, the Battle of Procyon V. That conflict will determine the... Ah, but you don't need to worry about that now. Enjoy your time on the frontier of yesteryear. A time that will never come again. True. Thanks for everything, Captain. Until next time. Could have gone wrong today. We could have lost critical figures in history. Sarek of Vulcan, James Kirk, and the crew of the Enterprise. The list is long. However, the timeline was preserved, thanks to you and Captain Chekhov. The Babel Conference proceeds as planned, and Corridan is admitted to the Federation. Well done. I'll continue to monitor the timeline for incursions. I hope I can count on you again when the time comes for action. Of course you can, Daniels. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the other side.